Welcome back folks, yet again to another review of unboxing and shooting at 50 meters and show you what you get in the box. We'll get to that more in a bit. So today we've got this long case. Inside this case is a new manufacturer. Well, they're not new. They've been around for a long time, new in our store. We've got the Nixon Ozog Walnut. Look at that. <laughs> Upon picking it up, it feels quite light. Check it out. Guys, look at the lines. Nice walnut stock here. It's got a rubber butt pad. It's got a nice trigger with some lines in it so it fits nicely so it's a match style trigger it's got your safety right here by your thumb so it's pretty easy to use spoon type lever a power wheel adjuster to go up and down your full pressure right here and your 425 cc tank 250 bar full it's got a half inch unf thread in the front the total length of this barrel is 55 centimeters. The total length of the rifle is 104 centimeters. So it is quite long, but it's nice to shoot with. One thing I want to mention is when you shoot at 50 meters, you guys are going to see the speeds it shoots at. So we'll check at which, for, for let's say for argument's sake, whichever pellet works in this windy conditions today, we're going to try them out. You'll see the speed. But one thing I know from the Nixon Ozark Synthetic, they shoot around about, let's say, 870 feet per second, around about with a 16 grain Olympia pellet, uh, and plus minus with a 15 grain H&N um, pellet. So these air guns are highly, 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 highly recommended to upgrade because they get about plus minus between 200 and 300 feet per second more once you do the power upgrade to these. Then they will sling those pellets like you can't believe. That's the thing. That's what I like about it. Then you can obviously shoot the heavier pellets and slugs. As it comes out of the box, it shoots well with the pellets. We will see that in the moment. So there's the air gun for you guys. It's got a nice thumb stock. It's got a little bit of markings here so you don't slip from the grip it is pointable i'd use this for bench rest shooting um, and a plinking in the garden and shooting the now and then pesky little rats or india miners flying around so that's what i'll use you know like that's what we're using here today on our range so as you guys can hear the wind is blowing Let's quickly see, 26 kilometers an hour. So what I'll do, I'll do this so you guys can see. So it is 10.40 today, 26 kilometers an hour. So you can just check that out. So you'll check. Bam. I'll put that on the screen so you can see. So the wind is blowing, but we're not scared of the wind. We're going to do a five shot grouping at 50 meters. But before we do that, let me show you what else you get in the box. You get your user manual. This is a generic manual, guys. ALF, Escalade, Ozark, Tacto. So it's got all the details that you need to know. And you know what? It is in English. I like that. Um, here's your target card that you get with it to show you the speeds and the radius of the shot target it doesn't say what distance let's quickly see at yeah, 25 meters and yeah it's shooting max diameter is 15.92 so I don't know how they test it but yeah there is a card to show you that has been tested at the factory um, let's go ahead get a little lanyard a little key lanyard uh, let's have a look at that that's pretty cool I like these little goodies uh, you get your um, quick coupler it's just a normal quick coupler 
um, allen keys and then a little bit of air gun oil then you get four magazines some models come with four some models come with three that's still the bonus some other air guns only come with one and yeah you got the choice of this one comes with four some other comes with three so don't quote and say ah, i only got three magazines be happy you got three <laughs> then you get a nice little raggy there so that's pretty cool so that's what comes in the box guys um this is the box that i took out of demo there and um, we're gonna shoot five shot groupings roughly about 50 meters well exactly on 50 meters 50 meters 0.02 um, just move the bench a bit forward but i'm not going to i'm gonna let that lead sling down the range and we'll see how it does see you now boys Okay guys, I've got my trusty dash silencer on in the front there. Um, I've got my Vortex Diamondback 6 to 24 by 50. It's in the M radiance, so it is a very nice scope. And then obviously my Eagle Vision scope cam with a GoPro Euro 7 Black Edition. So I'm going to do five shot groupings in this wind. As you guys can see there now, my wind flag, my makeshift one, how it's going all over. So. The thing is, I'm just going to wing it and let's see how it goes and how it performs. 833 837-842 847. So it sounds like it's got a regulator, guys, <laughs> but it doesn't. So basically, <clears throat> with this platform to shoot, um, you know, for entry level person to start off with, with a straight out of the box, it's going to be perfect. I mean, look, even with the wind blowing out today, it did a really good job. Um, you can, like I said, upgrade this thing. You can shoot heavier pellets. It will buck the wind way better and so on. But yeah, this is what you get and it's got a nice cheek weld here. Works fantastic, guys. Really love it. So let's go and analyze that grouping downrange there. And let's talk a bit about this air gun. All right, guys, look at that. There's a five shot grouping in this crazy wind it's still blowing you like you won't believe okay so a lot of people say ah that's not good i give you a challenge go shoot in the wind like this and you can show me if you can read the wind quite well good luck for you but if you can't this is the type of grouping you'll get with no wind you'll get that thing in each other so let me put this down here so let me speak to you guys a bit here so guys this is a beautiful air gun it really is i like walnut stocks i mean it screams uh, in a special place in my heart you know quality you know so i really do like them but the, you know horses for courses that's just my liking um, i just want to say about the shot count i could not believe it i was getting over 120 shots per full it's a lot so a lot of magazines obviously it's at this speed which isn't too bad if you're going to use it for nice target shooting and so on i recommend this air gun um you do have that power wheel adjuster but all the way up you saw it was getting about 840 feet per second with a 15 grainer like i said many times before you can upgrade this thing and this thing will be a monster but obviously then you'll suffer on shotgun but yeah i'm very impressed how it shot especially with this windy day i mean look it's still going guys it's not like i've got a fan behind me <laughs> i don't tend to do those things you know i'm honest just take the gun out of the box show you what i can do even in this weather i just smash it just wing it guys that's how it is so this air gun it's long yes it is but is it usable definitely most definitely so it shoulders nicely 
even if you go and sit in a field and you want to go and shoot some pesky India miners, rats, whatever, like now, I'm sitting on the floor, so you guys can see, so I'll be able to take them out, and especially with the scope, it will allow me to do that. I shot it on <coughs> magnification number 12, it can go all the way up to 24, so it zooms quite in, very, very, very crisp as well on full magnification, that's why I like these 30 mil tubes, it allows enough light in, so you can see, um, whatever you're shooting at and the style reticle I really love it is fantastic you know it's got like a Christmas tree but most of all the numbers that are going down so sometimes if you use an app or so on or you just made your own dope cards it's quick to reference which holdover to use because you will be like you don't want to start counting each and every single mill dot you want to look quickly, oh there's 12.5, bah, smash it, done and dusted, that's how you do it, so that's why I like this scope, um, cocking mechanism on this air gun, going from the scope back to the gun now, so the spoon type lever, it's right here, so it's not all the way back or forward, so you just cock and shoot, so you can't change it from the right to the left, it's on the right hand side, your cheek piece is ambidextrous, um, your full it will be on the other side so it's got a little full nipple sticking out there and talking about this trusty little silencer on the screen here I'll play the video so that you can see the decibel reader um, of what it's reading with without the silencer so you can see the noise levels and while we add it I'll just add quickly the silencer then you guys can see it, it it does a good good job of quieting it down so this is a nice little stealth air gun to shoot with and I'm just loving it so I'm just gonna say I'm gonna cut this video short so I can shoot a little bit more with this air gun because I'm enjoying it so I've got like this little target right here on the top like a little spoon I'm just gonna go and Learn how to shoot in the wind guys, that's how it is. Once the wind blows like this, the best time to go shoot is in this wind. So you can see what the pellet makes and then obviously how to read your makeshift <laughs> wind flags. So that helps out, you know. So it just makes you to be more consistent and confident to shoot in the wind. You know, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, so if you guys like this, please like, share and subscribe to Airbus Review SA. Come visit us down here at Pelagans.com if you're in South Africa. We're in Gauteng, Benoni. Benoni, vice mayor Baloney. <laughs> but anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.